Hey, how's it going out there? This is Adam Rice, and you're viewing my artifact. I'm going to present some information about digital and film in the movie making process. Exhibit A. This film was shot on 16 millimeter film. You see that kid right there? That was me. I shot this. Can you tell the difference between this and digital media? Well, it's not that easy. Most things are recorded on 35 millimeter film. So let's take a look at that. Here we see someone with more money than me could go out and produce this. 35 millimeter on the right and the Top Gear digital on the left. There seem to be some differences, and they're bound to be even more if we watched it projected. Let's hear what some of my favorite directors have to say on this topic. Here's Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, no, the I... The widescreen and so on. The digital era... At least, it, it does nothing for me. It does nothing for me. I mean, I actually think I'm getting gypped when I go to a movie, and I realize it's either been shot on digital or being projected in digital. Um, I mean, some people feel differently about this, but I, I think it's the death keel. I think it's the death rattle. And, uh, yeah. uh, you know, it's, yeah, I do. And, and I also have a, even another whole aspect about it. You know, I've always believed in the magic of movies. Yeah. And to me, the magic of movies is connected to 35 millimeter. Because everyone thinks, you can't help but think, that when you're filming something on film, that you're recording movement. You're not recording movement. You are just taking a series of still pictures. There's no movement in movies at all. They are still pictures. But when shown at 24 frames a second, through a light bulb, it creates the illusion of movement. So thus, as opposed to a recording device, when you're watching a movie, a film print, you are watching an illusion. And to me, that illusion is connected to the magic of movies. Let's hear another one of my favorite filmmakers' opinions. Here's George Lucas, a digital film pioneer. It would be much uh, better for me to actually capture the material in a digital medium and because it all had to be put into a digital medium in order to work with it in these computers that we developed at ILM. So I knew the whole film was going to be in a computer at some point, and I knew that if I captured it that way and put it in that way, uh, it would be much uh, less cumbersome because it's very hard to transfer from one medium to another medium. And that's what really got me interested in trying to, to shoot a film digitally. We were able to later on get a prototype camera with a prototype lens and shoot a couple of scenes and bits of scenes digitally, which I wanted to do because I wanted to see how well it matched into the film that we'd shot. Uh, and it matched in so well nobody ever noticed it. Film has an unmistakable, beautiful quality to it. But digital film has been taking over. And as it progresses and gets better, will it be the end of film? We'll just have to wait and find out. Thank you for watching.